Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome in. Carolina Moon here. Um, I'm just, I'm going to be doing your uh, mid-June uh, to the end uh, love and relationship reading. Um, for those of you that haven't been here before, my name is Carolina Moon Bean and, Beam, and I am a psychic medium. Seems like the words, I'm really fighting energies here. Uh, I am a psychic medium. I am extremely empathic and read energies. Uh, hence, I pick up on energies and then I will feel those energies and they will come out in in uh, ways. So uh, I actually grabbed my um, singing bowl that I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that tone here right before the reading. But I just wanted to let you know that uh, I am doing an extended read and that link will be in the uh, description box below. And you can follow me over uh, to Vimeo and I'll be getting more information for you. Also, there's a link down below for Wissio. It's a new platform that I'm on. I super love it. Uh, people are shooting me, yes, uh, super rapid fire, fast yes or no answers. Uh, I mean, questions that I can answer. Um, and you see that what's happening, the thoughts are getting, uh, there's a, um, a, a battle going on in the, um, in the energies right now. Okay. So, uh, yeah, check that link out and come on over. Um, so right now I'm going to hit this, um, uh, this thing here. So if you just wanted this singing bowl, if you just want to um, just stop for a moment, like me, as I am battling. Okay, that's my little singing mini. It's a little mini singing bowl. You see how tiny it is? And it just really helps when uh, I'm trying to clear and I'm getting interrupted. So hopefully that will help you too to concentrate on this reading. I've been having a lot of energy uh, situations today. Mercury is going retrograde on the 17th. I think I'm experiencing some pre-retrograde uh, um, energies. <laughs> Uh, I've been having issues with my audio. I had to switch back to the the original audio situation. So um, this might be a little off with the audio. Just pay attention and listen to the message as much as you possibly can because they're I'm determined to get them out there to you. All right, my darling. Right now, I'm going to um, pull the wisdom of the oracle. To get the flow here. Uh, sweet Josephine is here. All right, my loves, my beautiful Aries, my tribe, my tribe. Okay, let's get rocking. Okay, what do we got for our Aries today? What is happening? Oh, loyal heart. Oh my gosh, these cards are coming out really fast. So loyal heart. I'll try to put that up there so you can see. You see how the it's the two owls crowned with the same wisdom. That's what it feels like. Somebody loyal, loyal to you. Come to the edge. Aries has been getting this a lot. Yes, come to the edge. Why? <laughs> We're pretty good at asking why, aren't we? We're pretty good. Okay, I'm going to pull one from the bottom. Time for a nap. Aries has been getting this too. Oh, boy. All right. So this feels like, like yeah, I totally resonate with this here. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to go to our Sweet Josephine stack. Get... 
card from her. Sweet Josephine, I've got chills. All right, that's more like it. Okay, here we go. Seer. <laughs> Seer. Let me see. Let me see if I can do that. Seer. That is adorable. So see beyond the current situation. See beyond the current situation. You know, I really feel like a lot of us have been working really hard. We're very uh, outgoing and uh, uh, we've been working really hard and um, just really using our gifts to help other people. See beyond the current situation. That's so much like the high priestess, isn't it? It's like the high priestess. It's the psychic. It's the seer. It's the past, present, and future, right? OMG, how awesome is that? Okay, okay, sweet Josephine. We're going to read that. See her, and I turned right to it. Okay, see beyond the current situation. Look beyond your current situation. Raise your vibration and focus on love. It's That's our job. That's our job. Raise our vibration and focus on love. Most indigenous peoples have a seer in the family or tribe. Seers are the intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as a direct channel for information on what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. Their energy isn't about predicting our future for you. <laughs> Uh, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. Absolutely. Absolutely. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Extended message. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. Right? Yeah. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you're in an energetic holding space while the universe recabulates, cab, cab, uh, I hope I said that right, um, a path that is more favorable for you. Collaborate. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> angels, of light are, uh, angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experience can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. Oh, man. Because we like to control, you know, Aries. We kind of have that that thing, right? We have that thing. All right, my loves. Let's get to, the, get to this. Let's get going. I want to shuffle a couple times here. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I do that to make sure that the energy is cleared. Um, yes, and it is to get right to it with you. Chills, chills. Not sure if somebody's in the house, but I'm getting chills. Wow, we got the nine of cups. Wish, 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 wish. Oh my gosh, that's water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow, page of pentacles. Focus, mesmerized. Okay. Oh, wow. 
Whew, I've got chills big time. Somebody is here. I think we've got the um, Four of Wands, Spiritual Awakening. Four of Wands, a Spiritual Awakening. Going under the archway into a commitment. Celebration of of um, celebration of a union. Two of Wands and then planning. Planning the life together. Planning the life together. There's things going on there. I, I don't usually take four cards in that row. Oh boy, five of pentacles. Oh my gosh, we just got the hair fan. Oh boy, lovers. I'm getting four cards. Your guys' reading is really different. And the four of pentacles. Page of pentacles, four of pentacles. Okay, we're going to keep going. Oh my gosh, the pool, Aquarius energy, three of cups here, <laughs> four per, per row, I'm telling you, this is funny, okay, page, page of cups, page of pentacles, page, page of pentacles, page of cups, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Okay, this this wants to come out. This wants to come out. So, loyal heart, come to the edge. Why? Time for a nap. We've got you. You're you're. There's there's a wish here. A wish that's granted. A wish that you're something you're wishing for. Something that you're focused on. Uh, you could be focused on your your uh, spiritual uh, journey here. There's some kind of um, commitment here. You're committed to it. You're making plans for it. Wow. You have a lot of passion. We've got the five of, five of pentacles, the hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini here, um, an Aquarius. Uh, we've got the five of pentacles, which is out in the cold. The other person's feeling out in the cold. They're feeling like a, a distant, they're, you know, uh, or they're putting their selves out. And this is something that you could be doing so that you can stay focused on your spiritual journey right now. You're working on something that's very important to you. Um, and Hierophant, this five of pentacles is right next to the Hierophant, which is really, you know, talking about a community. You're, you're out of the community right now. I mean, this other person, okay, this other person is out of the community, not involved. There's a decision that they need to make between two people. They're holding on to somebody, okay? They're holding on to somebody else, it looks like, um, because there's three people here, and I really feel that. I feel like there's three people in this situation, in this romantic situation here. Um, we got the Fool and the Three of Cups. So we're really talking about, you see this right here? The Fool and the Three of Cups. So we're talking about um, taking a risk on a friendship. Taking a risk, taking a risk with somebody that's in this three here. Jumping in regardless of the fact that there's another person. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, there's somebody else in, in the picture, but I, I'm like, this person's got me mesmerized and I'm jumping in and, you know, then we'll deal with it later. Uh, I don't know, huh? Yes, because we have a page of cups and this is a small offer. And this offer is it, coming in from somebody and I believe it's a, it feels like a water sign to me, but uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this particular card, you know, you see the pigs fly up in the corner. So... It feels like, you know, maybe possibly this person might be, might be making an offer to you 
or you have somebody else in your world and then a new person is coming in because there's a decision that has to be made here um, with this lover's card between two people. Okay. But you're deciding to jump in. You're deciding to take the risk with this situation. You're going to be cautious about it. I feel that you're going to be cautious. I feel like this person is an equal person to you. Universe is calling for you to come to the edge on this situation. Okay. We're going to find out what the other cards have to say. But uh, it, it looks like you're ready. You're ready to, to jump into the situation and you're going to jump into the situation. Um, It feels like you both are on a spiritual journey here. I'm I'm looking at spiritual cards with this four of pentacles and this hierophant. Uh it, it it just it feels like you're it's like you're you're both focused on yourselves and what you're doing here, but then you're coming together. You know, you're because look at this. You know, this is the hierophant. Okay, and then this page, this page of pentacles. It's like the focusing, these two are focused. Okay, sorry, <laughs> they're focused. You see how they're just, uh, you know, the page is standing there with that huge pentacle just uh, in, a, in a stance, you know, and then the, the hierophant sitting there and it just looking up. It's like focused on something. Okay, so you could be focused on each other, and then there's a celebration. You come together, and there's the celebration with friends. You might, you know, have that time together. Okay, um, and then this offer of love comes out. You know, four of wands, lovers, and the page. You know, an opportunity for unity. Okay. Uh, there's a decision between between two people that we have to make here. It's almost, I, I'm feeling though, a decision also between your spiritual journey and this person. We've got to take a nap. You know, is it like take a break or something? Are you feeling like that is something that you have to do? Take a break and then you're going to go, you know. Uh, try love or something. Um, two of wands, four of pentacles and three of wands here. Holding on to something that you're asking why about. Why did it happen? Okay, why why did it it happen? It, at the same time, um, this is the this is a this card's about manifesting. Okay, it's also about being cautious though, from you know because of life experience. You're in the beginning stages of something that you're creating, something that you're manifesting, and you're wanting to hold on to that. Um, or there's uh somebody else that you're holding on to we're gonna get we're gonna let me find out what this uh, loyal heart is what is this loyal heart give me a card for this loyal heart because josephine is wanting you to tap into your spiritual intuition okay so the loyal heart is is got some shadowy moon to um loyal uh, loyal heart um, there could be things that uh, that you don't know. It could be a Pisces. Could be a Pisces is loyal heart. Submerged in that. Uh, what's this come to the edge? Oh boy, that came out reversed. Um, come to the edge. It's like it's so. This is. <laughs> chariot reverses uh let the spirit overpower you this is kind of makes me feel like channeling you know let the spirit channel through you don't try to control it don't put your guard up put your guard down come to the edge with this this person that's coming in put your guard down don't be so you know like this with that come to the edge and allow love to be 
feel love. Uh, it feels like you've been through a lot of stuff and you've been really focused on yourself and your your gifts and your spiritual journey. Well, I'm here to tell you the other person's been doing the same thing. That it's okay if you let your guard down for this possible Pisces or this uh, person, this uh, loyal heart that's coming in here. Okay, what is this why? Okay, right off the bat. So, you know, and it's just a burden, something that just, you know, a heavy load. Asking questions about it. Asking questions about that. Give me another card on that. Okay, they're going to give me two. Okay, so this is uh, Aries. There you are with the tower. And this is um, um, the seven of cups here. So some kind of choice that you made that was overwhelming. Okay. Some kind of choice that you made and a tower moment came in. It created a lot of chaos, created a lot of, uh, really shook your world up. I want to say, um, yeah, it was a burden. Okay. So what is this? The time for a nap? <laughs> walking away from asking why that's what I keep feeling it's like you know some things we're not meant to know and that's what this card this why card is about in this particular deck it's saying you know the universe doesn't intend for you to know about the situation right now so walk away from it walk off walk off find your other cup find your joy all right walk away from those spilled cups all those spilled cups in the you know, the other, the other, all those indecisions, okay, uh, illusions and things that were created in your own mind, right? Walk away from that because it just isn't important. Universe doesn't want you to know. Let it go. Let it go. Simple as that. I know. I know, huh? Wow. Okay, what is this lover's card? I can't help it. I have to. I think there's an Aries here. We've got we've got the Emperor now. So this is about uh, taking your power back, standing your ground, uh, making a decision, being firm about it. You're a ruler. Uh, this could have something to do with something. You know, this is the the government card to me. But I'm feeling that that you know this is a be firm about the choice that you make. You could be dealing with an Aries. It's asking you to make a choice about this Aries. We do have Aries here twice on the board. Wow. Well, it looks like it looks like um, you're going to give it a shot here from what I'm seeing. Um, but let's go over to the extended to get more information and find out uh, what's happening. All right, my darlings, I will see you over there. The link is below. Mm, much love to you. Bye.